and uh, happy Valentine's Day to all. We have an hour before our radio production class and I don't really know what to do. Kind of bored. Don't have a Valentine's to spend my Valentine's Day with, except my best friends. So I'm going to go to McDonald's so that I can get some oatmeal. Because I've been craving oatmeal all day. Yeah. Look it, look it, look it, look it, look it. My friend made me some heart-shaped cookies. Yummy! And then um, I got a chocolate chip cookie heart-shaped guy thing. And that's it. Yay! Oh, and I went to TD Bank today and um, they gave me a heart-shaped candy. I was like so excited. I was like, you guys are the only one that gave me candy today. Yay! That is. Yes, that's right. I did that. L1, right in front. I just want to say something really, really quick about stuff for a really quick second. Cause I had an epiphany yesterday, and I wanted to share it with you guys. Um before my flip cam dies and I might not get to film at the gym. I had an epiphany. I had to run six miles yesterday, sadly, and it hurt. Let me just share that with you. It hurt like hell. Oh my God, my legs today are dying. But I have to go run four miles. But what was what I was going to say was at like mile four and a half. Oh my god, mile four and a half. I was dying. I literally could not. I I thought I couldn't run anymore. And then I said to myself, Kelsey, don't think about how much it hurts right now. Well, you're gonna think about it anyway. But instead of thinking about how much it hurts right now, think about how good it's gonna feel when you stop running. <laughs> Just to get you through that little piece of running. Just say to yourself, it's gonna feel so good when you sit down, when you start stretching at the end of your, your six miles. And boy, did it feel good. But I, even though I walked a lot through that six miles, I might have run four and a half miles. Not straight. I ran four and a half miles total. Um, but out of that four and a half miles, I must have ran, a, walked a mile and a half. Because it was hard. God, let me tell you. Um... Oh, look, this guy's out biking right now. Um, but you know what? I feel good about myself. And even though today was Valentine's Day, oh my God, I feel so disgusting because I ate a bar of chocolate. And oh my God, I just feel so sick. And then I went out with Carly and we had these dis disgusting wraps. I know it's a wrap and it's supposed to be healthy for you. I got a whole wheat wrap with turkey, mayonnaise, and lettuce. And I hate tomatoes so I asked them for no tomatoes on my wrap. It was not good. Let me just tell you, if you ever have Solmex or whatever it is, oh, it was so gross. And then I had a latte and it was, I just don't feel good. But I'm going out for four miles right now. I hope this is recording. Yeah, okay, it's recording. Um, but I'm going to the gym right now so that I can just get my gym, my um, workout done with my four miles for the day. Tomorrow I have two miles, and then Thursday I have three and a half miles. So total this week, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 and a half plus the six, six on, 15 and a half plus six on Sunday. Six, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 21 and a half miles total this week. <laughs> Oh boy, that's gonna be fun. That's that Sunday run is gonna be a killer, and we're running in Central Park because two of those Central Park runs are my race, and they have lots of hills in Central Park. I'm kind of scared because I even struggled, I struggled through the six miles because I haven't run outside since it's been horrible weather lately it's not good but um we'll see what happens just take it one day at a time guys one day at a time and you just work at it and you just think about today just say okay I just have to work out for an hour today just go to the gym for an hour and then the next day you can go, oh yeah, that kind of felt, that it didn't feel good while I was doing it, but I felt better about myself after. God, I, I don't know how many times I've said this, but like if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. Everybody would be doing it. And look at America, like half of them are obese. Half of America is obese, probably more than that. Um, so obviously not everybody exercises because it's hard, but once you get past that point of, oh yeah, well, I'm looking better, I'm feeling better about myself, except when you binge and you, like, feel like crap, like, today, um, then you'll start feeling better day after day and you'll start wanting to work out more. You start being a health junkie and when people, oh, the best the best compliment you could be is a health freak. Like, somebody calls me a health freak, I'm like, yeah, I feel good about myself, woo! Health freak. All right, I'll talk to you guys in a little, if my phone, if my thing doesn't die. Bye. So I just finished four miles. Four miles in 48 minutes. I didn't really do it by the On. Don't go by the, just go how much you think you're gonna do by per mile. So I did 48 minutes. That's usually how long it takes me to do four miles. Because so I do 12 minute miles. I'm um, looking at my hair, it's all messed up. Ew. Oh well. I'm all sweaty now. Sexy. Alright, right there. My four miles, here we go. Valentine's Day four mile run, woo! -hoo!